Um, again, I'm Miss Hurst. Uh, I teach in Hamilton County, which is at Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, we're going to continue today. Um, the last time I saw you guys, we were reading The Wizard of Oz um, and looking at um, the points of view of the different characters on um, what had happened. So today we're going to um, be looking at a scene from Wicked, which is a musical, um, and it shows it was also a book, but we're going to be looking at the musical. Um, so Wicked shows the story of Elphaba, who is the Wicked Witch, Wicked Witch, and Galinda, who is the Good Witch from The Wizard of Oz. Um, and it's before the story of The Wizard of Oz begins, and it overlaps a little bit with Wizard of Oz. Um, but in this scene, Elphaba and Galinda are meeting each other at college, and they're at Shiz University. Um, so what I want you to do is pause me while you read through this text, and then we are going to look at how um, the author of Wicked develops the characters of Elphaba, the Wicked Witch, Galinda, the Good Witch, and Nessa Rose, who is Elphaba's sister. All right, pause me. All right, um, so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to share my screen with you as I tend to do. And we're gonna look at Elphaba, the Wicked Witch, as a character. So obviously your warm up today was what characters from The Wizard of Oz did you like? And which characters did you not like? Um, today we're gonna look at those some of the same characters, um, but from a different perspective, right, because when you get to see the background of a character, it might look a little bit different. So when we're looking at Elphaba, so you guys know that she has green skin. Um, and when they first go to the school, Elphaba's like, what are you looking at? Oh, do I have something in my teeth? So the green skin is weird and everybody's looking at her. And then she's like, let's get this over with. No, I'm not seasick. Yes, I've always been green. No, I didn't chew grass as a child. So I'm going to put this in my evidence section. And for trait, I'm going to put sassy and sarcastic. Um, and my reason for thinking that is because um, she, you know, she's a little, I mean, she is sassy and sarcastic, right? She, um, so Elphaba's reaction to meeting new people to assume that they will be unkind and ask her questions. Now, to be fair, they were staring at her. Um, she is defensive. Um, and gets, like, kind of sassy with them. Right. So... Um, and then her dad, who is Frex, says, Alphaba. And she says, oh, oh well, I scrolled down a little bit. And she says, um, oh, this is my younger sister, Nessa Rose. As you can see, she's a perfectly normal color. Um, so she kind of just continues with that same kind of like being defensive. Uh, but when she talks about her sister, um, she says that her sister is perfectly normal, which implies, first of all, that Elphaba is not normal and not perfect. The fact that she brings this up implies that she is jealous of her sister, Nessa. So, a trait about Elphaba is she's jealous. Um, and maybe with good reason, right? She's green. She stands out and her sister doesn't and it's not for a good thing. Um, and then her dad asks her to take care of her sister. Um, she gives her sister, he gives her sister a present and then her sister's like, oh, Elphaba. And she responds, because he didn't get Elphaba anything, and she responds, well, what could he have gotten me? I clashed with everything. She's green. Um, so even though her feelings are probably hurt, probably hurt, she makes a joke. 
Um, so I think that Elbow is kind of funny, even though this might be a defense mechanism. Um, this might be a defense mechanism to protect yourself. It's still funny. Okay. Um, and then we go into this whole, like, like we meet Glinda, Galinda, and they're talking about rooms and she acts, Galinda accidentally volunteers to be uh, Elphaba's roommate, um, and she says, um, but madame, I've always looked after my sister. Um, and I think this could tell us a couple of things. First of all, Elphaba is very concerned about her sister's well-being. Um... Uh, which tells us that she's caring. I think it also tells us that she's traditional. The fact that Elphaba wants to do things the way she has always done them tells us she is traditional, okay? Uh, so now what I want you guys to do is look through and see if you can do the same work with uh, Galinda. What do we know about Galinda. Go ahead and pause me while you work. All right, so some of the things that I came up with for Galinda are that she's confident. Um, so when she's talking to the professor, uh, Madame Morrible, she says, yes, you see, I'm Galinda Upland of the Upper Uplands. I've applied to your sorcery seminar. And indeed, that is my sole purpose of attending Shiz, to study sorcery with you. And this is the part that really told me. Perhaps you recall my essay, Magic Wands, Need They Have a Point? Um, so she assumes that the professor has um, read her essay and remembers it above all of the other essays. Um, and then maybe even further, she might be a little cocky or overconfident. Uh, so she's like, I want to be in your seminar. And the professor's like, I don't teach my seminar every semester unless there's somebody super special. And Galinda's like, exactly. She thinks she's the someone special. But clearly the teacher's trying to tell her no. Um, and then she's almost downright rude um, when she's talking about Alphaba, who again is green, and the professor's like, you're very bright. And she says, she's phosphorescent, which means like she's glowing. She's making a rude comment about the color of her skin. Um, so hopefully you got something similar. Um, but when you think about these characters, we've got that Alphaba is sassy, jealous, funny, and um, caring, and Galinda, the good witch, is confident, cocky, and rude. Um, so, so far, those characters are not necessarily how they have been portrayed in The Wizard of Oz, which is interesting. We're going to look at that a little bit more tomorrow. Um, but today, what I want you to do for your exit ticket is to do a chart like this, but with Nessa Rose. There's a lot less about Nessa in this story, in this scene at least, but go ahead and watch it, or go ahead and fill out this chart about Nessa, um, because good readers are always going to think about how their characters, how their author developed the characters in their story, um, and maybe why. All right, go have, ahead and have a wonderful rest of your day.